run over all the primed area with I am down here in our aluminum shop and I have F-150 here with damage on the bedside. It might be kind of hard to see, but it's dented here. It has scratches all the way down the side. It's dented here, dented here, dented right there, along with all these scratches and everything as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work out the metal on this and get it straightened out by using my paintless dent removal rods here. I'm gonna try to get back behind it and push it out. I'm not gonna try to make it perfect because I will end up putting a glaze coat of fill on it, but I'm gonna use these to rough it out. Hopefully I'll be able to get to all of it with these. Then I will do a thin coat of glaze and get it finished up. And then the doors I think are just light scratches right here. Now anytime you're working aluminum, aluminum requires heat in order to get it to move and stay. So I'm gonna use this heat lamp and I'll warm this metal up. You don't have to get it super hot, but you gotta get it warm. Warm it up with this, then I'll start working it. So I'm going to show you guys how I go about prepping out a bedside, getting it ready for paint. I went ahead and I blocked all of this with 320 grit. Now I'm gonna put a 
guide coat on it. This helps you see any imperfections. It helps make sure you get rid of all the sand scratches. And now I'm gonna run over all the primed area with 400 grit and I put it on this soft interface pad that goes on my DA. Now I'm gonna put one more coat of guide coat over all the primed area and I'm gonna finish all of this area out with a 600 grit. Basically the same thing I just did, but with a finer grit. You put your sandpaper on a scuff pad, it sticks to it, and then you can get up in here, assuming you have the hook it type sandpaper then it makes it real easy to get to the tight areas. What we normally do is we take 800 grit out into the blend areas. Now there's not, there's almost no blend areas. They'll probably take black all the way to the edge on this, but normally we would take 800 out through the blend area but I'm gonna prep just these outer edges with 800 and then I'll hit all my edges with the gray scotch bright. As far as the top goes here, I'm not sure how far our paint department's gonna want us to prep it. Sometimes they'll tape it off before these holes. It, it gets a cap over it, and sometimes they'll tape it off before the holes, just so dirt doesn't want to spit out of these holes whenever they're painting, and then it's all covered. But I'm not sure what they're gonna wanna do, so I'm just gonna prep right up to here, and then if they wanna prep it further, they can. And that's basically it. Now, obviously, it still has to be cleaned off and everything, and we also have to prep out this cab corner and the rear door and the bed will get lifted off in order to paint the cab corner there was minor scratches in here they prepped out but that's how i go about prepping out a bedside oh,